Hey there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to our Tuesday online class. Uh, we're, it's January, it's a new month, it's a new season. We have all new products and I'm really excited to jump in and get back and start doing online classes with you guys again. Um, if you are not familiar with it, you definitely want to check out Lisa, uh, Linda and I's uh, Stamp and Scoop on Tuesday where we shared the new occasions, our top 10 picks, and also um, the some of the occasions catalogs, products, and celebration, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute. This video is actually a double feature. We're going to be playing with the December Paper Pumpkin Kit, which was a calendar kit, which I thought was awesome. But I wanted to make some adjustments to the calendar so I could put it on my desk. So I'm going to show you what I did with that. little alternate from me. Uh, normally I have two videos each month, an alternate project. I do an unboxing, which we will do. And I do an alternate project, so two different videos. Today we're going to combine those all into one. But wait, there's more. In addition to all that fun, this is the um, December kit that we're going to be playing with today. And I'm going to show you uh, what I did with it, this great, great stand. I'll show you some alternate projects. And then after that, we are going to explore the Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper, which is available free during celebration, which is awesome. Again, tell you about that in a minute. And we're going to make this really quick and gorgeous card with the Botanical Butterfly DSP. You are going to freak when you see how easy this is to make and, and, and how we made it. It's actually a card designed by Julie Degua and she did an amazing job. You're just going to, you're going to love it. But before we jump into that and before we get to the in the know section, let's talk about what we're giving away today. So because this is kind of a double episode, my paper pumpkins are all, um, my December paper pumpkin is all in one this month. Um, I am giving away double the paper pumpkins. <laughs> Actually, maybe even more than double the paper pumpkins that I normally give away. So we got some bonus uh, giveaways here. What you are looking at now are five December paper pumpkin kits. This is the December uh, day by day uh, calendar kit. They were sold out long before they even came out. The deadline is the 10th of every month to sign up. These sold out before, I think they even sold out before December. They sold out so fast. So there was no uh, refills for these. So the only way you can get it now is to win one free. So you definitely want to leave a comment to be entered to win. I'm going to give one away at the 10 minute mark of this video and the other four at the end. So for those of you who got on the live early, you have double your chances to win. You're going to, I'm going to draw a winner at 10 minutes. All comments that didn't win are automatically eligible for um, the four at the end. And if you still didn't win, don't fret. Wait, there's more. I have two additional paper pumpkin kits to give away on January 22nd for those of you who weren't able to catch us live um, or those who are or didn't win one of the live prizes. So I've got a little something for everyone. Um, and I am broadcasting live today, which is really exciting on both uh, my Facebook channel, my Stamp with Tammy Facebook channel and my Stamp with Tammy YouTube channel. So it's really exciting to be able to get out to all of you at once. Um, the after live prize is uh, everybody on every on either channel is eligible for the live prizes. There's only a way to draw live from Facebook. There's not a way to get the, the comments from YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, pop on over to Facebook so you can leave a comment there and then go back and watch the rest on YouTube if you're a YouTuber because you want to get entered in to win that. All right. So uh, there's a lot of excitement happening today, right? There's a lot for me to share with you. So I'm going to jump into the in the know section to tell you a little bit about all the things I just kind of gave you a, um, I, I, I kind of gave you an overview of a lot of it. So as of January 3rd, we have a new product line called the Occasions Catalog. It is an amazing product line of spring products, fun bundles, so many fun things we're going to be playing with in upcoming videos and lots to look forward to. You can see this catalog, get a hard copy, check it out online and shop it online on my stampwithtammy.com blog using the links in this video's description or just type in stampwithtammy.com. In addition to that, Celebration was released on January 3rd and Celebration is like the biggest, biggest sale of the year. It's actually a big promotion. There's a special product line called Celebration Products. They're all limited edition products with the exception of one that will uh, be coming back in the big catalog and that was a, a die set. But all the other ones, including the one I'm showing you today, are only going to be available free Gosh, we hate it when things are free during celebration. <laughs> I'm teasing. And uh, so let me just tell you a little bit about celebration. There are three main ways to celebrate, but really 
there's actually there's five we said four the other day but i had forgotten about paper pumpkin and i'm going to tell you how paper pumpkin that we're doing today marries with celebration to get free stuff but first let's start with our three basics and that is if you shop in my online store every 50 dollars gets you a free celebration product you can see the products on my blog you can see them in my online store they are amazing we're going to be using one of them today at the end of this video for a fun bonus project and um, the second way that we celebrate, so there's three, shop, there's Stampin' Rewards, and join. So the second way is Stampin' Rewards. These are for when you are either placing a big order, you're placing a ghost party, you're combining orders with a friend, or you have a workshop. Anything over $150 gets you Stampin' Rewards. So your next question is, what the heck is that? It just means that they're free stamps. It starts at $15 and it goes up from there with your order. If your order hits $250, whether it's combined, whether it's all yours, you get all the celebration products plus the Stampin' Rewards and a bonus $25 in Stampin' Rewards. So that is a great deal as well. And you can get all of the celebration specials, the Stampin' Rewards, the celebration, if you are a demonstrator and you get a demonstrator discount, which leads me to number three. The third way to celebrate and the absolute best is to join the demo kit, which you can purchase just for the great deal and the future discounts. You do not have to actually do classes, workshops, videos, anything that you don't want to do except stamp and love it. That's the only thing you have to do and love to be inspired. And this is $76 free. Holy crap. It is $99. There's free shipping on the kit and then you get future discounts on all your products as long as you're an active demonstrator. And if you don't stay active, it's not a big deal. You just go back to being a customer and you don't get the discount anymore. It's all great. It's a win-win all around. So you can pick anything you want in that kit with the exception of celebration sets, which is also not a big deal because your orders after that, you're going to earn them and you're going to get a discount. Now, there's two, there's two kit options. They both have $76 free. One is the basic kit. The other one, if you add another $30 on, you get this beautiful tote. I also have this on my blog and that tote is worth $50. So you save 20 by doing that option. So great deals. Now I said there's actually five, right? So those are the main three. The main three are shopping, stamping rewards, and joining. But also when you're a demonstrator, we also on the back end get, uh, we get free products with our sales during celebration. So that's the fourth way. And the fifth way is with Paper Pumpkin. Now, this is a Paper Pumpkin video. We're going to be playing with Paper Pumpkin. I see a lot of you out there love stamping. I, I'm i totally with you, and I think I might have might need a 12-step pro. No, I don't need a 12-step program for stamping. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm an addict, and I love it. It's a healthy addiction, and it's stamp therapy. <laughs> Anywho, if you are new to stamping, or if um, you just, you're, you're busy, you're on the go, you love to craft, but you, you like you know to do things easy, Paper Pumpkin is a great all-inclusive kit. We're going to be opening one today. I'm going to show you one. A lot of times they're cards. A lot of times they're not project kits, but December's was a project kit, and it was a really kind of neat one, one that I'm going to keep on my desk all year round. So I'm pretty excited about that. They come in these cute little boxes. There's there's two different ways to subscribe. One is you can go right in, and the, and the links are on my blog under Paper Pumpkin, as well as a full Paper Pumpkin gallery of all my videos, how-to videos we're using them. And you can subscribe and it'll automatically come in your mailbox every month. The second way is with a prepaid code. Go into my online store, click Paper Pumpkin, and you can purchase a prepaid code for kits in 1, 3, 6, and 12 month denominations. Now when you do the prepaid code in my online store, this is where Paper Pumpkin meets Celebration. So when you purchase a 3, 6, or 12 month subscription, you get free Celebration products with it. Oh my gosh, right? Bonus, bonus, bonus. It can't get any better than that. Holy crap. So uh, that is awesome. And um, that is some some information on the uh, how to get free celebration products. Uh, again, I'm going to be using some celebration products in this video. And we're going to be using paper pumpkins. So this is how you can get both <laughs> all together. And uh, the deadline I mentioned every month is the 10th of the month. P, uh, they've announced that the paper pumpkin kit in January is going to coordinate with the uh, animal expedition. It's going to be Valentine's. It's going to coordinate with the animal expedition suite, which is awesome when they do this because it means we get double the mileage out of the kits. It means that um, in, in addition to what we're making out of the kit, we can also go outside the box and stretch it and use some of our products from that animal expedition suite. You don't need the suite to make the kit, 
but we can do alternate projects and they all match. And that is just awesome. I love it, love it, love it when they do that. So the deadline for that is Thursday. You definitely want to sign up whether you do a subscription or whether you do a prepaid code and get celebration. Now I am seeing some comments pop up right now that people have not gotten their catalogs. Um, I've put notes out everywhere possibly can on social media, on Facebook, on, on my videos. Linda and I talked about it on the Stamp and Scoop. There was a problem with the catalog mailing. So if you are one of the people that was affected and didn't get a celebration or occasions catalog, this is not the place to, to post it because I probably won't get it and you don't want to put your address here, but email me. Email me at Tammy at stampwithtammy.com and I will get you another set out immediately. I don't want anybody to go without. You can see them on my blog there in the meantime until they get to you, but make sure you email me and make sure you include your address so I can double check and make sure that I had it correctly. But it, there was a lot of people affected by this, so if you are one of them, you don't need to post it here. Just drop me an email and I'll get you another set right out. It was nothing personal. A lot of times in the holidays, this happens anyways, that, that because they go out in December, it's a huge time for shipping packages and, and holiday cards, and they just get lost in the shuffle, but this year there was an issue. So make sure to contact me if you didn't get your occasions and celebration, or if you just got one and didn't get the other one, I'll be happy to get you whatever you need. All right, so uh, we were just talking about uh, the January kit, and um, it's okay, Lynn. No, don't worry. No apologies. I just wanted to, th there was a bunch of people in addition to you that posted it. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. It's no problem. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I just, I just wanted to, to give a shout out to you guys that you guys just drop me an email and I'll get you another one. Um, anywho. And um, January kits, January 10th. Thursday is the deadline for that. Now, I've got another new thing that I added this morning. I don't know if you guys noticed this. So I posted the resource page for today's video on my blog. And on it, I have added a new feature starting in 2019. I think you guys are going to love, I hope. You can give me, you can give me some feedback on that. And um, the, um, I've added uh, stamp case inserts. So Stampin' Up! has started providing these, so that I will be including them on all of my Paper Pumpkin posts. You'll be able to get to them by going to my blog and click on the Paper Pumpkin button. The whole gallery is there. Um, so these go as back, far back as September. You can print them out, and I have a link there. on the, They fit in these clear mount stamp cases, so now you can store them on your shelves with all the rest of your stamps. Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? Because every month there's a stamp set that comes in the kit. And the stamp set is exclusive, so you obviously want to know what, what the stamp set was. So now we have these great little print printables for you guys to put in these uh, clear mount stamp case. And you can get that on my blog. Now, um, just a couple more things. My um, hostess code is good until February 15th. I've got some more bonuses. And I want to tell you about them because every month I, I offer free tutorials when you place an order in my online store. And the reason why, I mean, I always want to tell you about them anyways, because they're awesome, they're beautiful, and they're, they're inspiring. But one of them uses the celebration of Botanical Butterflies Designer Series paper that I'm going to be showing you today. So it's more ideas and how to make them using this paper. And that's what I love to do. I live to inspire. It's what I'm here for. So if you place an order in my online store for any amount using that hostess code, you will automatically get that butterfly bundle tutorial as a gift from me. And if your orders are over 50, you get a celebration set and you get the... Um, the amazing, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank on the name of the other one. The Amazing Blooms. It's a new one in the Occasions Catalog bundle. Happiness Blooms. Sorry. It's from the Happiness Blooms suite. It's awesome. It, it's a full suite of products and card four card tutorials and both. So those are just um, a few extra bonuses from me. So uh, that's the end of the know. I'm a little bit late for our early bird drawing. So I'm going to jump right into that and pick one winner from our four. Um, we have, uh, I'm sorry, five. Five. December paper pumpkin kits that I'm going to be showing today to give away. So let's pop on over to uh, my giveaway site here and I'm just going to refresh and make sure that we're still on and then we're going to pick a winner. So good luck to all of you who got on here early and uh, left a comment. That means that you are eligible to win the early bird. If you haven't left a comment yet, jump on, leave a comment so that you will be eligible to win one of the four at the end of this video. So everybody Everybody's got a shot to win. Now, if you share this video on social media and type the word shared into the comments, I will also, and I see a lot of you have done that. Thank you for sharing the love. Thank you. When you do that, I enter you a second time into my after live drawing. 
And huge congratulations to Darcy Dutton and a huge thank you for sharing the video onto her social media. She's type shared onto there. Um, so when you do that, I enter you a second time into the afterlife drawing. Darcy has won our early bird, so she's going to get one of these December paper pumpkin kits. Congratulations. She's the first to five. So the rest of you, don't worry. I'll be giving more away at the end of this episode. All right, so let's jump in. I'm really excited to get started. We are working for those of you who have jumped on late. We're going to, we have, I actually have a double, double class today. First, we're going to be starting with the paper pumpkin, December paper pumpkin kit. And then we're going to be working with the uh, Celebration Botanical Butterflies paper. And I just showed you how you can get both together, which is uh, pretty cool. Well, it won't be the December kit. It can start in January. All right. So this is the kit. Let's open it up. Let's pop down to our table and get started with the stamping. Okay. So I'm just moving these out of the way. So leave a comment and you will automatically be entered to win them. And the first thing we're going to be playing with is that December paper pumpkin kit. But as I promised, um, because I'm combining both my reveal video and my alternate this month all together, um, I'm going to show you what comes in the kit and then we're going to play with it. And um, my alternate is actually really quick. I did something, usually I make cards with the alternate, um, regardless of whether it's a project kit or a card. But this month I really loved the calendar and I really wanted to use it. But I wanted it to be a little bit different, so I'll tell you about that in a minute. So this is um, the project kit that came in the kit, and um, these are the instructions. Every kit has instructions. They're great for beginners. Again, usually they're cards. Sometimes they're going to be Valentine's projects in, in February, and I, I will be making cards from that kit too, so we'll, we'll be able to do both with them. Every kit comes with... Um, Usually they only come with one ink spot. This month they actually came with two. It's Grapefruit Grove and Pool Party. And I love these little ink spots. I keep them and hold on to them and use them when I travel. Again, these are just so great for when you're uh, on the go. We've got some Pool Party ribbon here. I'm just going to read off the back of this paper. It tells us everything that came in the kit. So um, I'm, I'm going to go down. I'm not really going in order, but <laughs> just because I did pre-open it. No, I don't always peek ahead of time. Sometimes when it comes in, I just I just go and open it. But this time I, I peeked because I wanted to play with it. And um, I was on vacation when it came, and I, I just wasn't able to, to get online. But I, wanted to, I still wanted to play with it. It's terrible, right? No, it's not. It's really good. That's what I love to do. I love stamping. So this is some really pretty pool party ribbon. That, that goes along with this kit. Um, this is, I'm gonna just put it up against something solid here so you can see it really good. What you're looking at here is the, the exclusive stamp set for the day by day kit. And again, if you're popping on a little bit late, if you click on the resource page of this video, I now have, and I'm just gonna click over and show you again really quick, I now have stamp case insert. So there is a stamp case insert for the um, clear mount stamp cases for uh, this stamp. So you just have to print it off. And then if you don't have the cases, you can order them in my online store and um, you, you just print off that insert and it, it stack that right on the shelf with the rest of your stamp sets. And it's awesome. I'm so excited about that. So um, this is the, the stamp set. There's there's actually some cute things in here. There's, you know, hello, every day is a fresh start of the words that are in it. But I love the patterned pieces here that can be used so you can kind of use these with your calendar, but you can also use like these lines and things that I, I would use for other things too. I could, you can build a flower out of it, some other fun stuff. Now there is, and this isn't a 12 month calendar that's in here. It's actually, it goes from January 2019, which is this month, all the way to June of 2020. So it goes through 12 months. So that's 18 months. It's an 18 month calendar. Um, I hope I Put them in order i tried to look at the calendar to make sure that because the january's look the same and i was like looking at the date so hopefully i got them in the right order but if i don't you you guys you know <laughs> for for for, for educational purposes you, you'll know how to do it and this is just piece of the calendar that goes um when you put it together these little pieces are um they're actually they're they're stick sticky so they peel and stick and um, you know what? I totally agree. Donna's like, they have the best ribbon. And not only do they have the best, and, and a lot of times they have the coolest stick on stickies. I save those. I save all the extra pieces and then I use them on some other projects, which I think is, you know, one of the best. I also save all the extra dimensionals that they send because they always send extras. So I, I love to, I love to use them. It saves me from having to buy more. So these are little stickies that, um, we're going to stamp and put on to the calendar. 
And then we've got some gift tags that you can use for giving this as a gift. Now, I, I think the intent was, and, and this is, let me just, there's a, there's a box that came with this. So I think the intent when they designed this kit was for you to give this as a gift to somebody over the holidays. Okay, and I almost missed, there's um, some, some white baker's twine. So there's a really cool box here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some alternate projects ahead of time. So this is this was, and here it is right here. See, see how it's pictured here with the calendar? It's tied up, the calendar stamped, like they stamped some of this on the calendar. They tied the ribbon through it, and then they put it in the box and tied some more ribbon with a, with a to and from tag in order to give it as a gift. I didn't want to give mine as a gift. I was pretty selfish with mine this month. <laughs> I wanted it. I liked it. I wanted it. So um, I'm going to do something a little bit different with it. In fact, I'm not even going to stamp mine because I, I like it just the way it is. I'm going to show you that in a minute, but I'm going to show you some really cool, ultra, uh, one that I really liked for the box. Since I'm not going to use the box with mine because I'm going to put mine on a, on a stand, my ca a calendar stand, I thought that this was a really cool idea here. And these are some alternate projects that um, the... Stampin' Up! made with this one. And uh, there's a card there. There's another little stand, like a little paper stand they made to hold the um, to hold the calendar up because I wanted mine to stand too, but I did mine a little bit differently. And I loved what they did with the box. Do you see the box here? It's got post-it notes in it. So they put some post-it, they just put like a little cardstock divider, put post-it notes on one side and some, you know, paper clips or, or, you know, brads or whatever, and the tags, the to and from tags. So you have a little you know, a little box there of, of stuff ready to go for your desk, which I thought was really neat. I thought that was a really cool alternate project. These are some great projects. I do have this picture on my blog as well. Um, but here's what I did with it. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you the kit and then I'll show you uh, the stand that I that I did for mine because honestly, I, I didn't want to give it up. <laughs> I didn't want to give it up. I really, really liked it. And um, so that was a cool, and again, there's some, I have some post-it notes right here, right? So they just put a little cardstock divider in here, put some clips in here, put some post-it notes in there. That also makes a great gift. So you can use your little two from Texas. You could also use these on your, your holiday and upcoming birthday presents too. So I'll be saving those. Now these here, and I'm just going to show you the instructions because I'm not actually going to stamp mine today. We're going to stamp, but later on in the, in the episode, I'm going to stamp a different card. Um, what they did was they stamped these um, they're like little textures just all around on these stickies and then stuck them onto the calendar onto here, which was really cute. And then they marked the important dates and all that. But I, um, I actually like it just the way it came. So I'm not going to stamp. I'm saving my labels. I'm saving the sticky labels for something else. <laughs> I know, right? Normally I have all kinds of alternate ideas, but I, I honestly was a little selfish this month. I just wanted the calendar. I was like, that is really cool. I want to put it on my desk. So what I did with it. Yeah, okay. I feel like I, I just need to, I just need to show this to you real quick, but I think you guys that, that win these or have these definitely know how to put this together. Um, you just put the string, the ribbon through here and then it went in the box. So that was kind of, you, you stamped it, you put it on there. That was, um, how it was intended to go. I got this stand on Amazon and I have the link on my resource page. You can click if you, if you wanted to, to use this for yours. I also put a link in there to the, um, to a site that you can print calendars like on cardstock. The, the, the site though, the only ones that I could find on there were full size ones. So if you know how to manipulate that and make those images a little smaller, you could actually print something similar off and stamp it, like print the calendars off and stamp it and put them on a calendar stand as well. So I have those resources for you, the link to where, where I got this on Amazon and a link to a, a printable site that you could make calendars for if you liked the idea and wanted to, to make something similar. And then you would just punch a couple of holes in it. And then there's some jump rings that came on this stand. So it looks, I know it's hard to see because of the angle of the camera right here. I don't actually have a front on camera, which would look a little better, but all you do is take these and the, and the jump rings are adjustable that came with the stand. So they just go right through the top of the calendar. And again, this is my alternate here. <laughs> this is the alternate that I did this month. I know, like I said, normally I do um, a card or something, but I was selfish. Please forgive me. <laughs> but I hope you like this idea. Those of you that have this kit or that want to make something similar, I do hope you like the idea. 
And I, it, I do have another card to stamp with you guys today. So these jump rings, and this was probably the most difficult part, was to get them both on here. They just go through, and then they clip back over this bar. I want to say this was like, um, the links are on my blog, Shannon. If you um, click on the link in the video's description, you'll find a direct link to, um, to this. If you don't see that, go to stampwithtammy.com, and it will be there. Uh, it'll be right on the home page, the paper pump, December paper pumpkin. So this is how it's going to stand on my desk. And then, you know, you'll circle your important dates on here. I know I didn't follow any just instructions today, Diane. It's like, you didn't follow the instructions. No, I didn't. I never do, right? I usually go rogue about what, step three or step four. And this time I didn't even start with step one. <laughs> so, and then these just flip over. They just flip over the top as the months go. And there's 18 months of it. So you can see why I really wanted that for my desk. Because I like it at a glance. I like being able to see that at a quick glance at the at the upcoming month. And I liked that it stood up there and it fit just well. And this this was just a really cool um, to stand by. I want to say it was maybe $14 on Amazon. It was really quick and easy to do. So that is the December Paper Pumpkin this month. And what I did with it. So stay tuned. Uh, January should be coming next week I'm hoping and I will do an unboxing of that one and then I'll do a separate alternate project so we'll be back to doing cards with those in January back on my regular schedule I'm back so I'm glad to be back I love I love you know being able to spend time with my kids and I had a great holiday season I hope you guys did too but I've missed you guys <laughs> and it's good to be back all right so that's our paper pumpkin again there's some alternates here let me let me show you this was the paper pumpkin that came in the box it was quick and easy very fun that stand was classy right Rita I really liked it and um then um th so this is what it looks like when it's actually standing up on my desk so I really I really did like it I, I liked how it looked and and either stamped or unstamped I, I like to kind of plain it fit in my, with my decor nicely and um, these are some more alternate projects that Stampin' Up, their uh, concept artists have created. They made a little paper stand with one, a card, and then I liked the box idea with the, the post-it notes. So now it is time to jump into, that was our, our paper pumpkin segment. Um, and you know what, I'm gonna switch back to this really quickly because um, why I'm segging, segueing into uh, Celebration from Paper Pumpkin is because uh, you can actually get Celebration products free if you do the prepaid um, paper pumpkin codes in my online store. And here's this. There's three month, six month, or 12 month. I have this information on my blog as well. You can just click over to the store. It's there too. And you can get free Celebration products with this. So this is kind of cool because you can marry paper pumpkin and Celebration. We like it when that happens. And make sure you do it by Thursday because then you will be able to get the January kit which is going to coordinate with the Animal Expedition Suite. You don't need the suite to make the kit, but it's sweet. Get it? See what I did there? It's sweet when they do that because it means um, that we can extend our kit and get double the mileage out of it. So now <laughs> let's jump right into our next project, which is going to be Celebration. It is made with the Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper, and I have a bunch of ideas to share with you with this paper too. You can get this free if you place a $50 order in my online store and make sure you use that hostess code so that you will also get the free tutorial from me. Actually, you'll get two free tutorials if you place a $50 order from me. So lots of bonuses in here. So let's pop back down to the table. That's the paper. This is the celebration catalog. Again, if you didn't get, um, if, you, if you didn't get your catalogs in the mail, just drop me a quick email. And um, I, did, I have tried really hard to get this information out, but I know it's sometimes people are busy. I get it. You, you don't see it. You don't always see it. So if you didn't get the information that we had some issues with the mailing, just make sure you drop me an email. Make sure you send your address so I can double check and make sure I had it correctly. Make sure it wasn't my fault. And um, I'll get you another one right out regardless of whose fault it is. So you have it. And you can view these online. So this is chock full of free, free, free products that you can get with $50 orders. Now we are going to be playing with more of these in upcoming videos and I have been posting these ideas relentlessly on my blog even during vacation even during vacation I've been posting some amazing celebration ideas so this designer series paper is called Botan botanical butterflies you can earn as you get one free with every $50 order you can pick whatever you want it doesn't have to be this um, but you can get multiples of this if you have a hundred dollar order if you wanted to 
So this is the paper. It coordinates with uh, Balmy Blue Basic Black Daffodil Delight Grapefruit Grove Highland Heather Lemon Lime Twist and Whisper White. And it also coordinates with the um, Butterfly Punch. But let me just tell you, it coordinates with a heck of a lot more than just the Butterfly Punch. And we will use that in a second. But it really coordinates with every butterfly product that came out in that occasions catalog. We have uh, two bundles of butterflies that came out, the Butterfly Gala and the beautiful, um, oh my gosh, drawing a blank on the, what was the, um, uh, Beauty, Beauty Abounds, Beauty Abounds bundle. So the Beauty Abounds was a stamp set and die of butterflies and then the Butterfly Gala was the stamp set. We'll use that one. We'll use the Butterfly Gala bundle in a second. That's the stamp set and the, the punch, the butterfly. I love butterflies. They're so fun, right? So let me show you the paper real quick. And I, as you can see, I've cut into and started using this. It's really neat because it's double-sided paper. So we have butterflies and the beautiful colors I just mentioned on one side of the paper. It's 12 by 12. The stack is 12 by 12. Let me just get you out a little bit here. And, um, okay, so we've got pretty butterflies. This is, again, the, the um, Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper from Stampin' Up! That's free. There's two of each page here. I, I, I've cut some of them up, so they're not all in order, but there's two of each page in these beautiful colors. I'm just going to go through it real quickly so you can see. It's just so much better to see it in person than it is in the catalog for some reason. Paper just doesn't doesn't look as pretty in a catalog and then we've got this look at the highland heather okay oh i'm sorry i gave you a peek of what i was going to share next what was really cool about this paper <laughs> did you see it did you catch that okay so then this is one i've already cut into all right so what's really cool about this is the one side i just showed you is all these beautiful colors but wait when you flip it over the back side of the paper is black and white and there's all kinds of cool black and white designs here that you can color in. You can use your Stampin' Blends, your Stampin' Right markers, watercolor pencils, whatever your favorite coloring medium is. You can have fun with this designer series paper. We've got some gingham, butterflies, polka dots, all kinds of designs here. So we've got beautiful colors on one side, black and white designs on the other. So this really cool, really cool um, designer series paper. So, as promised, I am going to create a little card for you. Actually, I'm going to recreate. This was, I posted it on my blog last week. It was designed by Julie DeGoya, who is a Stampin' demonstrator. She's been doing some design work for me, and she's really, really talented. Um, so, here's the card that we're going to be making. This is it. It's so quick and easy. Wait, do you see this? You're going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you're, you, you, you're, just, you're, you're just not going to be able I'm not even going to say anymore. So, this is all paper. It's all paper. So, as always, when I create, and usually I have alternate projects that have these as well, but whenever I create a card or a project, I have a, a, a free PDF for you to follow along with. It's got the card on it, it's got the, all the measurements, and it's got a supply list on it. So you can get to this by clicking on the resource page of this video. So I have two resource pages on this video. One is for the Paper Pumpkin information and the Paper Pumpkin project and the links to all of that. The second one is for this, and it's also going to it have uh, photos of all the additional cards that I'm going to show you that were created with this designer series paper. So this, this is, like I said, it's a double bonus episode. We got double the prizes, we got double the projects, so all kinds of fun on today's class. So you can get to this by going to stampwithtammy.com and clicking on the video gallery, or I have a quick link right here that you can type in. I, had, I made it shortened. I shortened it here. I made it bit.ly so that you didn't have to type in too much. Or if you have a smartphone, you can just zap that uh, QR code. And if you, I'm just gonna use mine really sec. So, uh, occasionally people will ask me how to use those. If you have an iPhone, or, I'm sure Android probably works very similar. You just click your camera and hold it over that code. Whoops, I'm sorry, I'm out of screen. Let me do that again. Okay, so hold that camera over that code. Did you see what just happened? I got a little pop-up here, and that pop-up is going to bring you directly to the resource page. So what that means is the video that I'm making right now will be on that resource page as well as all the information and this free PDF. If you have the free PDF and are making the card later and want the information, just simply click zap that QR code or type in that URL and it will bring you right here 
and all of the information is here, everything we're doing, the bonus cards I'm going to show you in a minute, and the video that I'm making. All of it's right there. So that is just a little how-to. That was a bonus how-to. All right. So free PDF on the blog. Hope that you guys find this very useful. And now it's time to make this awesome card. You guys are going to die, die when you see this. All right. First of all, this is um, Gorgeous Grape is our card base. And then we've got the, um, this is a layer of the Botanical Butterfly Designer Series paper. Get measurements around that. I cut mine a little bit, actually, a little bit bigger than Julie did, but that's okay. It's going to come out just as pretty. Now, I use the flip side of this to get that striped design. So, again, more Botanical Butterflies on that one. Oops, there we go. And then we've got a little bit of Whisper White. So you can cut this down a quarter of an inch if you want Julie's dimensions, because I did cut mine a little bit bigger than she did, and that my dimensions are what's on that um, PDF. Okay, so uh, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do the stamp. Usually I do the stamping first, but I'm gonna wait and do it after. You're gonna freak out. This is the best part, right? Whenever she told me this, I almost died because I thought, oh my gosh, Julie, look at this card. It's beautiful. I can't believe you spent all this time coloring in the butterfly. What colors did she use? She goes, ta! I did not color in that butterfly. She punched it out with the butterfly duet, which is part of the butterfly gala bundle punch. She punched these butterflies out of this designer paper. Oh my gosh, right? So the first thing I would recommend doing if you were going to cut these out is to actually trim out the one you want to use so you can save the rest of the, so you don't have two punch butterfly punch marks on here. Let's see if I can get that in there. So this butterfly goes right in here. Right? Oops. Let me line this little body up. There we go. So we've got one butterfly, right? How many of you just said, oh my word. <laughs> I can't believe that. And then we've got two butterflies here. So we've got a green and a blue. Let's cut these little guys off the bottom. Right? All of a sudden you need to have this paper because holy crap, that is like the simplest card to make in the world. And it's so cute. And it coordinates with all of these butterfly projects. And this punch and the, also the stamp set. We're going to use the stamp set too. So just line up that little blue guy there. And these are the same. It's always a common question that people ask whenever we have designer paper, do the dies or the punch or whatever match it? In this case, yes, it does. There we go. All right, so we've got, whoops, that one didn't cut quite so awesome. But you know what? If it didn't quite cut quite so awesome, instead of green, let's do orange. We're going to go outside the box on this one. Sure. Who says we can't do that? Just line that up in there. And wait for it. <laughs> Another use for your take your pick tool. Your little sticky end of your take your pick tool is to line up these little butterflies come out. Manipulate manipulate your uh, your punch. Alright, I'm gonna get that guy out of there. We're gonna get a we're gonna cut another little piece that's a little bit bigger. Actually, he's little. Let's just punch him. Just go right up on here. There we go. See, if you make a mistake, there's extras. <laughs> All righty. Yes, that's a good idea. Terry says use a post-it note to hold it on there. Yes, that is a very good idea as well. Okay. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is kind of line these guys up where I want them on this Whisper White, so I know where to stamp. So the big butterfly went up a little bit. Our little note. So we're going to use the the coordinating gra uh, gorgeous grape, which is what our card base is. Ink, and I almost forgot to show you. We're going to use the butterfly gala. So if you're wondering, does the paper match? Yes, it coordinates with all of our new butterfly stuff. So here is um, the butterfly gala, gala stamp set. You can get this with a bundle with that punch that I just used, or you can get them both individually. So first I'm going to stamp. Now I haven't attached anything yet, so I can still move stuff around. But first we're going to stamp our words, and then we've got two different size antennae. 
antennae, antennas, antennae, right? They're antennae. So the bigger one we're going to use on this bigger butterfly. Ta-da! <laughs> and the little one we're going to use on the little butterfly. Oh, that Julie. She's pretty amazing, isn't she? Oh, let's make sure that's lined up there. So, that right there. Whoops, that was an awesome. That was not an awesome stamp. You know what happens when it's not an awesome stamp? This is why we don't attach ahead of time. If it's not stamped awesomely, and I don't love it, we do this. Dun, dun, dun. Because you know why? Our paper has two sides. It's true story. All right, so a little note. You know what the other thing is? You could use the Stamparatus if you wanted to as well. But now I'm doing things the hard way today. So we've got one little butterfly there. One little butterfly. He's a big butterfly. And then our little, stamp our little antennae again. Up here. There we go. All right, so that's our, how our butterflies are going to line up. Now we can attach them. You can use either snail or mini glue dots to attach them. Right? Didn't it look like she used a marker on them? I totally agree. All right. So because I'm a snailaholic, I'm going to be using a snail, but mini glue dots would work just as well. She didn't pop these up, but you could pop them up if you wanted to have a little bit of dimension on there which is also fun. Julie has actually given me a new appreciation for um, flat. I love popping everything up with dimensionals. I might be just as addicted to those as I am snail. If you saw how many packages of dimensionals I go through a month, you'd probably die. But she has this beautiful style and, and it, most of it isn't isn't raised up and and now that I you know I'm I really appreciate her work so much and I'm like wow I'm like I'm learning how to ease myself off of that dimensional addiction but not totally because they're awesome <laughs> all right so we've got our stuff we've got our butterflies down and then all we got to do is attach Isn't that cool? The double-sided paper. I love it. I love it. So fun. So this right here is the card. Card is complete. And it was pretty much with the exception of the antennae and the words stamped with, I mean, make, created with this butterfly, botanical butterfly designer series paper that you can get during celebration. So I'm going to just show you up close again. This is the paper. Um, and I did just kind of go through each page so you can kind of really get, because it really doesn't give you a good good viewing of it in the catalog. This this little viewing isn't as awesome. And it does coordinate with all of our butterfly products. It looks really good. Now there's there's two bundles that came out in the um, Occasions catalog. You can purchase them together or you can purchase them separately. I have them both here. And in addition to that, we also have butterfly elements. So the butterfly elements are on the opposite side here and they also match with that and you can see some of the cards down here these are the butterfly elements which are wooden elements these are really hot right now very very popular so they're wooden elements and you can color them with your alcohol markers if you want to or you can leave them with a rustic wood there's some great examples of them here but they're very very fun to play with so it also matches that and that is another celebration product as promised in addition to creating that card I promised I would share some more um, ideas created with this Botanical Butterflies uh, Designer Series paper. Now I just did a card swap with some fellow demonstrators. So these are some of their beautiful creations here. That uh, Their cards inspire me so much. I, I love all these different ideas because it really gets my juices flowing and I hope it does that for you too. Because we all could use a little stamp therapy. So you can see here this was the, the first one I showed you was the black and white. It was, was showcasing on the black and white. And then here we've got some color. Um, this is a really pretty one. I don't know if you can see the, the quilt top impressions folder on the background of that one, but very, very, very pretty. Here we have got, and this one is the black and white designer series paper. And I'm pretty sure she colored this 
these two butterflies to, to spotlight, to jump out with the, um, the stamp, Stampin' Blends markers. Now I want to show you uh, the ribbon that she used here is also sit available during celebration and that one is on the, the page before it on page seven. You get a whole pack of five ribbons. There's uh, five different colors there and that was one of them. The Daffodil Delight was one of them and it coordin again, everything coordinates. This is a beautiful thing about Stampin' Up! Everything coordinates, but I love that this designer paper coordinates with so much. It's really fun to play with it. And now here is, and this one's just um, a fun fold here that opens up. And we've got the designer paper here. And then she cut, again, punched this butterfly out of the designer paper. And here's another one. Beautiful background here. Another simple one. The stitch shapes oval and then the butterflies, the designer series paper background quick and easy and they're all wows. They're all wows. Now here's another beautiful one and this one actually uses those butterfly elements. So if you're wondering how to use those wooden elements or what they look like when they're colored, this is a great sample. And again, all of these samples are on my blog. You can go to um, the link in this video's description, uh, the botanical, it's butterfly, botanical butterfly designer series paper link has all of them on that because I have two resource pages for today's episode because it's kind of a bonus episode, paper pumpkin and um, the celebration and marrying the two together. So we've got the designer series paper on the background and then this is the wooden elements and they are colored to match. So again, I just showed those wooden elements are super mm -hmm. fun to play with. So that is um, one way to use those wooden elements. And then here is our last card. Now again, designer series paper, flip side, that black and white is the flip side of the designer series paper and a butterfly punched out. So easy, so fun, so cool to play with. So those are some samples of the Botanical Butterflies. Now I have lots more samples to share with you in my upcoming videos of both celebration and occasions. I will be back on Friday. This is the card we just created today using that designer series paper. Um, on Friday, I think I'm gonna be playing with the new dog set. Yeah, super, super cute, happy tails. So stay tuned. That's a little, <laughs> a little teaser for that. And uh, so we've reached the end of, oh, boo -hoo. Oh. <laughs> we have reached the end of this episode. And um, yeah, thank you for bringing that up again, Cindy. And for those of you who were, um, those of you who popped on late, I have a new resource this year, just started with today. And I, I went back as far as September with these um, and they are paper pumpkin stamp case inserts. So you can take your paper pumpkin stamp sets and put them in the clear mount cases and print off these inserts and put them right up there with all, stack them right up there with all of your stamps on the shelf. So that makes it really quick and easy to, to find them later because they are exclusive stamp sets with your paper pumpkin. All right, so this means it is time for uh, some giveaways. I know we love giveaway time, right? So let me just make sure we're still set up here. Um, I have four, count them, four paper pumpkin kits to give away right now and then two more. If you're not a lucky winner or you're watching the replay, uh, you will get a chance to win the the um, the afterlife drawing on. I'll do two more on January 21st. So first to four, I'm going to go through these really fast. Make sure to fill out the prize claim form if you're a winner. We've got Lynn Hens. Congratulations, Lynn. And she loves that little post-it box idea that we showed, which is cool. Okay, so I've got the wrong, wrong button here. All right, our next winner is, so there'll be five total, Robbie Hamilton. Our next winner is whoops uh, Irene Foster Miller and our last winner is Linda ben Benden Linda Benden okay so if you are one of our lucky winners and they are all posted right here you can see all the lucky winners right here five December paper pumpkin kits so each one has one uh, a paper pumpkin kit be sure to fill out the price claim form it's linked in this video's description or go to stampwithtammy.com and click contest and winners. You will also find all of the past winners on there listed on there as well. Um, you have two weeks to claim your prize or I re-gift and give away to somebody else. So, and especially where these are time sensitive being 2019 calendars, we definitely want to get those out. So be sure to claim it. If you don't claim it in two weeks, I will be re-gifting on future videos. All right, so if you are not one of the lucky winners, don't fret, I have one more, um, actually two more to give away on January 21st. And uh, I will look forward to seeing you guys on Friday. Don't forget that um, Thursday's the deadline for the January paper pumpkin kit. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today.